Hey guys, what's up? Today what I'm going to look at is showing you how you can use in your dashboard a small pie chart or any type of uh, chart to identify how well or what percentage a certain number is of a total. And in order to do that, what I've done is I've used these mini pie charts that are associated to who my best customer is based on the total sales of the month and what their sales are. So if I switch the month down here, You'll see that if I select April 2015, so $231,000 of the 580k were consumed or, or sold in revenue by customer four. So you'll see that that percentage, of course, is being displayed on our graph here. And then the worst customer for that month in particular of April 2015 was for 65k. And you'll see the percentage here uh, displayed within that pie chart. So in order to do that, what I've done is I've set up on our calculations tab couple of different values to calculate those uh, the information that we need in order to, to create that chart so the first thing being we want to calculate based on our selection what I'll show you really quickly here is that if we have slide this over a little bit if we select the month of uh, April 2015 for example you'll see that our data has changed over on our pivot table here and if I go back and I switch to July 2015 got a macro in there that'll update that again so you'll see that that's 82,000 and then let's go August and you'll see that this is updated as well 85,000 for customer one so each of these update based on the month sales and you'll see that uh, that is how this is actually working currently and that calculation of course I have my list of customers being generated by the pivot table and then over to the right of the pivot table I have a calculation telling me and giving me the value sold by the customer uh, that is selected and that that of course is copied all the way down within a name range that is also dynamic so now if we look at the numbers that I use to generate these pie charts over to the right again I have the max value sold to the customer and that is literally if we look at max value sold of course that is our column V underneath the value sold for month based on the customers uh, and that is also based on the selection made by the user on the dashboard and then if we then go to um, down below, we'll, we're going to basically do a calculation that's going to show us what the customer is. But what's important to us here is the percentage of the total sales, which is basically the max value sold, which is being calculated by this, um, and then divided by, of course, the month, the total month of sales for the month selected, which is driven by this sum if statement up here. And then I did the same thing when we look at the minimum value sold, it's down here. And then uh, if we were looking at the percentage, of course, we're going to look at the minimum sales divided by the month sales. So it is this value here divided by this value here. And you can see that our name range is up in our name box here for each of those. Okay, so now that we've done that, uh, I've already done this in advance, but you can do that on your own, of course. So what we're going to do now is we're going to want to generate a pie chart based off of these, these two uh, points of data. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to go to insert, I'm going to go to uh, da, 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 over to the right here, we're going to insert a pie chart, I'm going to select that. And what I want to do is I actually want to have this larger portion showing as blank and the 28%, so essentially the remainder of sales for uh, this guy here is going to be 72% for the total sales for that month for the best customer. So all I'm going to do is right click and I'm going to change that fill to no fill. And then what I'll do in the other case with that portion of the data set, of course, I'm going to format that data point. I'll bring up the, the list of formatting. Uh, options that we have available. I'll go over to the fill and I'm going to select the solid fill. In this case I should have all of my colors available that I'm using on this dashboard and there's that. And then of course like I said I want to show the rest as blank. So if I select that portion in that area I can include a fill of nothing but what I do want to add is a border to it. We'll add a solid line border I'll change that borderline just like that and I'll add the border also to this guy here 
I think it'll probably look better if we use the dark color or the darker color that I'm using in the dash the dashboard here. And I'm going to delete the series. Simple as that. I'm going to delete the chart title. And this is what's going to make it uh, transparent. I'm going to remove the fill on the background. So we're going to say no fill here. And at last I can shrink this. Do I have a outline? I still have the outline there. So we're going to say no line as well. And I can then add that because this one, this chart in particular is associated to the uh, customer that had the most sales, which was 28% of our total sales. I'm going to add that to our pie or to our final dashboard. Minimize that a little more. I'm going to cut this actually instead of copy. Right click and then cut. Head over to the dashboard. And then we're going to slide over. I'm just going to paste this guy in here. And then we can actually add it to this chart. And this will change accordingly as our first customer does. We're going to do the same. You do this exact same. I'm not going to go through it, but you do the exact same thing with these two values here for the, the lowest customer sales or the customer who had the lowest sales. And if we look at this and we change our selected month, you'll see that that now changes accordingly to show us the total number of sales, uh, the percentage of the total sales for the customer with the most sales in that month. Just like that. So you'll see that this customer in particular, if we looked at the calculations again, you'll see that that updates. It shows that 90% of total sales were made by that customer in that specific month. That is all for today. I think that I've covered pretty much everything on how to create that. Um, if you do have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. I appreciate you guys checking this video out, and we'll see you next time.